In this video, I'm going to review a simple yet effective strategy that will help you on your journey to losing weight forever. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up? My name is Skylar Deem. I'm the founder of Reach Fat Loss and Fitness, where our goal is to help you lose weight sustainably permanently and effectively. And to me, that means doing it without counting calories, without any crazy hit workouts or cardio workouts, and definitely without any strict dieting where you're cutting out all your favorite foods. I believe our concept is the most simple and effective from a lifestyle perspective. And if you're a little curious about this or you're just wanting to put it to practice and test it, I highly encourage you to check the link in the description to grab our common kitchen upgrades guide. This guide is gonna be completely free to you and it's gonna show you 15 simple swaps that you can make in your kitchen. Same food, same everything, different ingredients that are going to help you increase your energy, reduce bloating, and yes, lose weight. So that's my gift to you. So make sure you go check that out. And I'm also giving you gifts every single week with these videos. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. We're putting out new videos every single week and I would love to have you as part of the community. So what is the simple concept that will help you on your journey to losing weight forever? It's something called aggressive patience. Now picture this. You're working on losing weight. Let's say you've got 20 pounds, maybe 50 pounds, maybe 100 pounds to lose, and you have your ideal weight in mind. Week one rolls through and you just absolutely crush it. Your nutrition's on point, your workouts are on point, you're really just loving the process, you're super motivated, super excited, you step on the scale at the end of the week and you lose three pounds. Awesome, let's go. Week two rolls around and you do it again. Yeah, hit all the workouts, you hit the meals. Maybe the motivation wanes a little bit, but you're just so hyped by these results that you are just crushing it continuously. End of the week rolls around, you step on the scale, you lost a pound and a half. Still a pound and a half. However, it's not as much as it was last week, so you're a little discouraged. Week three rolls around. There's a little less motivation, but you still get all your things done, you make the nutrition tweaks, you crush it, and you step on the scale at the end of the week. You've lost 0.4 pounds. What do you feel in that moment? You feel discouraged, you feel frustrated, you feel like you failed the week. If so, the truth is that you are not alone. This is what diet culture has taught us. This is what seeing people's transformations on the internet has taught us. We have been taught to believe that results happen overnight. But I want you to understand something. This process is not about getting the result. The result's a nice bonus. The result is what we are aiming for. But if you really want to sustain these results, the goal is about who you become along the way. And so what happens with most people is they are so focused on this outcome. They look up, they see the top of the mountain, they know they want to get there, that when they aren't moving as quickly quickly as they want to, they get discouraged. What happens when you're discouraged? Most people, they lose a lot of momentum. Many people actually quit completely. And so what aggressive patience says is I am going to commit to the actions that will ultimately lead me to that outcome. And no matter how slowly I move, I'm going to keep showing up and I'm going to stay consistent. I'm going to strap in and I'm going to act as if this is going to take a long time potentially even forever. And a lot of times that is what's required to see results. We have to get through this idea that results are gonna come overnight and we have to start worrying more about who we become in the process and how we show up long-term. Anyone can crush it for a week or two, but not many people have the patience to consistently continue showing up and taking action even when they don't see results. Let's say you have 50 pounds to lose. Are you willing to go through the motions and hit things consistently for five years before you lose those 50 pounds? If the answer is no, you might have to ask yourself why. Now, can you lose 50 pounds in shorter than five years? Of course, but that's not the point here. The point is what happens when you put yourself in that mindset of aggressive patience. I got three things that happen for you. Number one, you have realistic expectations. It is not normal to lose more than 0.5 to two pounds every single week when you are losing weight. The truth is there's gonna be weeks where you lose less than that. The truth is there's gonna be weeks where you gain. And so by setting yourself with this aggressive patience of knowing that it's gonna take a long time, you have your expectations in place and you aren't discouraged when you don't see the results as quickly as you want to. The second thing this does is it shifts your focus. It takes it from your long-term goal and puts you more into your immediate goals, right? If I'm climbing this massive mountain, if I get a quarter of the way up the mountain and my legs are tired and I'm exhausted and I look up and see how much further I have to go, I'm going to be discouraged. But if I shift my focus from the top of the mountain to just the next few steps in front of me, now that's great. All I have to focus on is that and it makes it way, way easier to show up. And the third thing this helps you do is it helps you outlast your doubts. This is really one of the biggest killers I see with people losing weight is they start to doubt themselves. They start to doubt if they've chosen the right strategy or even if they're capable of getting to their weight loss goal. And so the goal isn't to always believe in yourself 100% confidently or always feel so certain that you're gonna achieve this goal. The goal is to just keep showing 
going up so you can outlast the doubts that you do have. When you start off, if you have to lose 50 pounds, it might seem like it is a long way away to lose those 50 pounds. For a lot of people, it may even feel impossible. But if you strap yourself in, you get aggressively patient and just know I'm going to consistently show up no matter what, the chances that you are going to succeed drastically increases. So here's my challenge for you. If you are on the road to losing weight, pick a strategy that works and consistently practice this mindset of aggressive patience. If you only lose a little bit of weight each week, great, keep going. If you don't lose weight or you start gaining weight, learn why, start to ask questions, start to pivot and adjust for the next week. But ultimately, if you consistently pivot and you strap in and you do not expect immediate results, you will see success. And if you are looking for a way to kickstart this process, Guys, this guide is the best thing you could do to start. It doesn't require any habit changes besides what you're putting in your grocery cart. It's very, very simple swaps. And for most things in here, it's gonna taste very, very similar, if not the exact same. So check this out. The link is in the description. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. And of course, as always, make sure to eat smart, move more, sleep deep, and be grateful for this moment. I'll see you in the next video.